Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd. Ikhwati fillah. Usi usikum usikum Allah. Usi nafsi wa iyyakum bi taqwa Allah. Advise you ayu al-ikhwah for the sake of Allah that you have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We heard the Imam reciting from the book of Allah. From that, that which you heard, that al-insan laysa lahu illa ma sa'a. That at every individual, he will not have except that which yani, he strove for and that which he has put forward. That which every person puts forward in this life, he will see that. وَأَنَّ سَعْيَهُ سَوْفَ يُرَى He will be shown that يوم القيامة As the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said كُلُّ النَّاسِ يَغْدُو Every person he goes out in the morning. Not a single one of us except that we wake up in the morning and we go about our business. This is the life of this dunya we go about our business. كُلُّ النَّاسُ يَغْدُوا فَبَعِعَ النَّفْسَ فَبَعُ النَّفْسَ And he sells himself. Each one of us, we go out in the morning. وَلَا بُدْ وَلَا مَحَالَ There is not a single person except that he goes out every day and he's selling himself. We're trading. Every single one of us are tradesmen. And we're trading on a daily basis. فَبَعُ النَّفْسَ He sells himself. Either he, he condemns himself or he frees himself from the fire. Either he can, condemns himself through that which he strives يعني, towards and that which he puts forward. And so he can, either he condemns himself to the fire and to the punishment of Allah, or he frees himself from the punishment of Allah and the fire. This is the life of this dunya, and what is that except a stage from the stages of life? You should surely move from stage to stage, from the womb, out here now upon this earth, every person Yaqdu goes out in the morning and we each person is upon his journey. And then death wala mahala kullu nafsin da'iqatul maut. Another stage. In the qabr, another stage. Raised from the grave, taken before Rabbil Alameen, standing before the Lord of all the worlds, and then either to Jannah or the Nar, and that's the final stage. قُلْ إِنَّ الْمَوْتَ الَّذِي تُفِرُّونَ مِنْهُ فَإِنَّهُ مُلَاقِيكُمْ This death, say that this death, indeed this death that you run away from, we all go about our business every day, wake up in the morning, and it's as though we're not going to die. We flee from it. We run from it. It's as though we're not going to... That stage is not going to come yet. And although we know that we, we're going to die, we behave as though we're not going to. And we act every day as though we're not going to. And that it's not going to, to, to come. Although we know we believe that. But we behave as though we don't believe that. قُلْ إِنَّ الْمَوْتَ الَّذِي تُفِرُّونَ مِنْهُ فَإِنَّهُ مُلَاقِيكُمْ This death that you flee from and you run away from is going to reach you. It's going to meet you and you're going to meet that death. ثُمَّ تُرُدُّونَ إِلَىٰ عَالِمِ الْغَيْبِ وَالشَّهَادَةِ فَيُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ Then you will be made to return to Alim al-Ghayb, the one who knows everything, the unseen, everything, everything that we put forward. When we used to go out every day, every single thing. 
and then you will be informed. He will inform you of that which you used to do. And that is why, al-Ikhwa, whilst we still have breath within us, that we have to work, ayul al-Ikhwa, work for that Jannah. And we have to take advantage, ayul al-Ikhwa, of this time. And we have to be, just as the Messenger of Allah, he told and advised Abdullah ibn, Abdullah ibn Umar when he took him by the shoulder and he said Kun fi dunya ka'annaka gharib Be in this world as though you are a stranger or abr sabil or a traveler because that's all we are in reality traveling latarqabunna tabaqan an tabaq we're only going from stage, stage to stage we're traveling and likewise the Messenger of Allah sallam, he advised and he was admonishing another man. And Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma, he said that he heard the Messenger of Allah sallam, say to this man, Ightanim khamsan qabl khams. Take advantage of five matters before five. Take advantage of five before five. Hmm. Take advantage of these things. What were those five things? اغتنم خمسا قبل خمس شبابك قبل حرمك Take advantage of that youth that you have that strength that you still have Take advantage of that before you become old and you don't have that strength anymore to rectify that which you need to rectify نعم وكذلك صحتك Take advantage of that good health that Allah has blessed you with before you become ill. And you cannot do that which you're able to do now whilst you're in that good state of health. Nam wa ghinaq qabla faqarik. Take advantage of that wealth that Allah has blessed you with by giving that, spending that in the way of Allah and that which pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before that wealth is taken away. None of these matters will last forever. These five will not last forever. They have opposites. They have opposites. That good health, its opposite is that bad health. And when it comes... Wallahi, we think about the good health that we enjoyed and we wish that we could go back. But if it comes, if it comes and Allah has written that that good health does not return back to you, then it's gone. And this is why the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have to be grateful. And that is why Fudail ibn Iyad, he said, he said, Alayka bi mulazimati shukr. Alayka bi mulazimati shukr. Upon you is to, to stick to giving shukr for those blessings of Allah. Because yeah, rare is it that the bl- a blessing is taken away from a people for adat ilayhim. It's rare that when a blessing is taken from a people that it comes back to them. Take advantage of these. Your youth and that strength that you have before that's replaced and it's substituted with with old age and weakness. Take advantage of good health before that bad health and that illness comes to you. Take advantage of that wealth that you have before it's taken away from you. Kadalik Faragak Kabla Shogulik. Take advantage of that free time that you have. The free time that you have, which you may be wasting. Wasting. Wasting it away in that which is not going to benefit you. When you need those good deeds, when you need of them the most. Yom al Qiyamah. Before you are preoccupied. And as the Messenger of Allah he said, Ni'matan. Two blessings. مَغْبُونٌ فِيهِمَ كَثِيرٌ مِنَ النَّاسِ 
Many of the people, they waste them, these two blessings. Many of them. As-sihah wal faragh That good health and that free time. Wa hayatak qabla mawtik. Hey wallah, ya lukhwa. We have to take advantage of our lives whilst we're still alive before that death comes. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us that we die. That we do not die except as Muslims. That we do not die except as Muslims. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu attaqu allaha haqqa tuqatih wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun. O you who believe, fear Allah with the taqwa that he is deserving of and do not die except as Muslims. How can we do that, ya khuwa? Because that is what every single one of us wants. That we die. That we die as Muslims. Rabbana tuwafana muslimin. Rabbana tuwafana muslimin. How can we die as Muslims? Ibn Kathir, rahimahullah, he said, he said about this ayah, if you want to die as a Muslim, how can you die as a Muslim? He said, man aasha, man aasha ala shay, mata alay. Subhanallah. Man aasha ala shay, mata alay. Whoever lives upon something will die upon that thing. You want to die in the state of Islam, live your life upon Islam. Don't be from those who want that, that good ending or that wants Jannah. But he doesn't live upon Islam. He doesn't live upon Islam. If you want to die, if you wish for that ending, you wish to die as a Muslim, then the, your safest bet is to live as a Muslim upon Islam. Carry out those obligations that are upon you, those five pillars. Don't compromise on those pillars. That is why they are pillars. That is why Allah has made pillars for this religion. Pillars that uphold one's religion. Once those pillars are gone, everything else is going to fall. The five pillars in, in, yeah, and specifically. And then the other wajibat. As much as we are able, a part to our parents, obedience to our parents, being truthful, being from the sadiqeen, leaving off the muharramat and the haram as much as we are able. And then bi ta'ala, if you live in that way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not cause the deeds, the good deeds of the good doers to be lost. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not cause those deeds to be lost. Stay firm upon Islam and bi'ni ta'ala Allah will take you in that state. Man a'asha ala shay ma ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he writes for us that good ending. And that he causes to die as muslimin. Ask Allah subhanahu an yuwafiqana li khayri dunya wal akhirah هذا وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين